So have you ever woken up and had dark circles under your eyes? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you seven pro tips on how you can get rid of dark circles. Let's take a look. Hey, what's up? This is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn all about the eyes and finding the best vision products. If you're new here to the channel and you like taking care of your eyes, then consider hitting that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. A lot of people have dark circles because you can see their blood vessels in their eyelids. And that's either because they have more capillaries or the ones they have are thicker and larger. And because the skin of the eyelid is the thinnest in the body, you can see them more easily. So my first tip is to shrink your blood vessels with caffeine. Caffeine acts as a diuretic to help get fluid out of your body, but it also helps to constrict your blood vessels, at least momentarily. So drinking a cup of coffee or a cup of black tea can help constrict your blood vessels and get the dark circles to be less apparent. You can also try the moistened tea bag trick if you want because caffeine can also be absorbed through the skin. That is exactly why some medications and creams for dark circles have caffeine in them as an additive. Tip number two is to also treat eye allergies. Your eyelids and the blood vessels within the eyelids become inflamed very easily due to allergies. Allergic reactions are caused by a chemical called histamine. Histamine causes your blood vessels to dilate and start to release more fluid. That fluid will accumulate and cause eye bags. And although people often confuse eye bags with dark circles, they are not the same thing. But thankfully in this case, the treatments are very similar. To manage your allergies, you can try over-the-counter oral antihistamines, or you can try topical antihistamine eye drops. The branded eye drop called Padaday just became over-the-counter in many countries and is honestly one of the best eye drops for eye allergies. You can also try eyelid wipes specifically for allergies. This is one from Akisoft, which is kind of like a wet wipe for the eyelids. And an extra pro tip is that if you are a makeup wearer, make sure to clean that makeup off before going to bed. Otherwise, allergens can stick onto that makeup and then you're just holding those right onto the eyelids overnight. And even better yet, just stop wearing eye makeup altogether because you are beautiful just the way you are. Tip number three is to do cold compresses. Just like icing your elbow or your knee after it's been injured, it'll help reduce the swelling of the blood vessels and slow down fluid movement, which causes the swelling. You can do cold compresses by using an eye mask like this one. You can also just grab a bag of frozen peas out of the freezer, or you can do the frozen spoon trick, where you put a couple of spoons into the freezer and after a few hours, then you can put the frozen spoon onto your eyelid and that'll cool down the swelling. Hey, are you getting value out of this video? If so, smash that like button for me and leave a comment below of which one of these tips works the best for you. Otherwise, let's keep going. Another reason people get dark circles is because the skin on the eyelid is the thinnest skin on the body. It's about a half a millimeter thick and some people have thinner skin than others. And to help with this, honestly, prevention is the most important. So tip number four is to prevent skin damage by wearing UV light blocking ointments and creams or wearing 100% UV light protecting sunglasses. Because in the long term, UV light from the sun can cause damage to the skin and even thin the skin. Tip number five is to also use some sort of moisturizing cream around the eyelids to help support and strengthen the tissue. You can also contact your dermatologist for possible prescription medications to help thicken that skin as well. And tip number six is to get more rest at night. Not getting enough sleep can decrease hormone levels and thin the skin and negatively affect your blood vessels. And take it from my cat, getting between seven and nine hours of sleep at night is recommended. And an extra pro tip is that when you are sleeping, sleep with a slight incline so that any fluid that's accumulating around your eyes drains to the rest of your body. Another major cause of dark circles is hyperpigmentation of the eyelid. And honestly, this one's really hard to treat on your own just because some people naturally have more pigment of their skin around their eyelids. Yay, genetics. But tip number seven is that you can also try using makeup concealers or optical diffusers to help blend in the color of your eyelids with your facial tissue. Or consult a dermatologist in your area for possible treatments of pulsed light therapy or other laser treatments to help treat the hyperpigmentation you have of your eyelids. Hey, if this video helped you out, make sure to like it and share it. If you'd like to learn more about other eyelid conditions and treatments, go ahead and click or tap the screen over here to the side. Or if you'd like to see another cool video from Dr. Eye Health, go ahead and click or tap the screen down over here. Again, this is Dr. Allen here from Dr. Eye Health, helping you learn about the eyes and vision. Keep an eye on it. We'll talk to you soon.